Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. He who learns but does not think is lost. He who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. By three methods we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection, which is noblest. Second, by imitation, which is easiest. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. The superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. When anger rises, think of the consequences. Respect yourself and others will respect you. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. What you do not want done to yourself, do not do to others. The funniest people are the saddest ones. When it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. In a country well governed, poverty is something to be ashamed of. In a country badly governed, wealth is something to be ashamed of. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. To practice five things under all circumstances constitutes perfect virtue. These five are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness, and kindness. The superior man thinks always of virtue. The common man thinks of comfort. When you see a good person, think of becoming like her, him. When you see someone not so good, reflect on your own weak points. He who knows all the answers has not been asked all the questions. The man of wisdom is never of two minds. The man of benevolence never worries. The man of courage is never afraid. Attack the evil that is within yourself, rather than attacking the evil that is in others. In all things, success depends on previous preparation, and without such previous preparation, there is sure to be failure. The expectations of life depend upon diligence. The mechanic that would perfect his work must first sharpen his tools.
Look at the means which a man employs, consider his motives, observe his pleasures. A man simply cannot conceal himself. The man who asks a question is a fool for a minute. The man who does not ask is a fool for life. If you are the smartest person in the room, then you are in the wrong room. To put the world in order, we must first put the nation in order. To put the nation in order, we must put the family in order. To put the family in order, we must cultivate our personal life. And to cultivate our personal life, we must first set our hearts right. The superior man acts before he speaks and afterwards speaks according to his actions. Give a bowl of rice to a man and you will feed him for a day. Teach him how to grow his own rice and you will save his life. When you know a thing to hold that you know it, and when you do not know a thing to allow that you do not know it, this is knowledge. The faults of a superior person are like the sun and moon. They have their faults and everyone sees them. They change and everyone looks up to them. It is easy to hate and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve and bad things are very easy to get. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Those who cannot forgive others break the bridge over which they themselves must pass. If you think in terms of a year, plant a seed. If in terms of 10 years, plant trees. If in terms of 100 years, teach the people. When you know a thing, say that you know it. When you do not know a thing, admit that you do not know it. This is knowledge. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large. Wisdom, compassion, and courage are the three universally recognized moral qualities of men. A man who has committed a mistake and doesn't correct it is committing another mistake. The superior man does not set his mind either for anything or against anything. What is right he will follow. We take greater pains to persuade others that we are happy than in trying to think so ourselves. If a man remembers what is right at the sign of profit, is ready to lay down his life in the face of danger, and does not forget sentiments he has repeated all his life when he has been in straitened circumstances for a long time, he may be said to be a complete man. In the end, it's not about finding a home so much as finding yourself. 